Hey guys, it's Michael from Account Beans. The purpose of this playlist is to help you, the small business owner, do your own bookkeeping at zero. If you like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. So we're on our dashboard here. So first step is we're gonna go into bills you need to pay down the bottom. I've already started one off in draft, but if you wanna set one from the beginning, click on bills here, and it'll take you into the same screen we have here. Just to make it speed up a little bit, I've already got one prepared earlier. So this is our draft bill. Key thing to note that Truxton Property Management was already a contact in zero. So if I was to type in Truxton, they're already there. I can just select them. If I had not set up a contact yet, I would have to go into contact, set up a contact, and then come back and do this process. We're assuming we've already set the contact up. So put the date of the invoice, put the due date, Let's just say it's due plus seven. You can put a reference, like for example, we can say this is rent for March 2025 month, something similar. The total of the invoice goes at the top. Put your description here, put one in here, and then the price, and then this is rent. So we just code this to the rent account, and you can see there GST on expense for this is commercial rent, and you can see here that it's making this too big because we want it to be this and it's blowing it out so what we need to do is swap the amounts r and swap that to tax inclusive now it'll include the gst not add it on top that's a really important point so if you're doing the expense and you see that happen just swap the tax rate then we want to click approve if we're happy with that now the only other thing we might want to do here is attach a copy. So if you wanted to upload a file, say you had an actual invoice, a PDF of it, you could put that there, you could drag it and drop. Um, that's a good way to do it. So that's how you get an item from there. Um, in a different video, we'll talk about what we use. We use a software called Dext, which takes a photo. You can take a photo of the receipt or there's an email in function. And that basically saves you having to pre-fill all of these details. Dext 8, I will basically fill out almost all of this and then you just might select the right classification if it's not picking that up i.e rent telephone whatever it is but it saves you doing all this and that image is attached to the transaction but for this example we're just showing how you do it in zero and all you do is do what we've just done then attach the image if you want if you don't want you don't have to then down the bottom here what you're going to do is you're going to click on payment date so let's just say for example we're doing something that was paid in March, let's say they paid us on the 11th of March, for example, you could select the business bank account there and you could apply the payments. So that's one way of doing it. You can apply the payment on the bottom or you can just apply the payment from the bank feed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to apply this payment here, but instead I'm just going to go into the dashboard and I'm going to go to reconcile 28 items. And then what you're going to see here is this is our invoice here. This was the payment we're talking about, trucks and property management. It's picking up there's an invoice here. So what I like to do is I'd always like to, rather than just click OK, I like to type in the search and make sure this is the particular invoice. So let's just say you had multiple month rent invoices for the same amount. You might have March, April, May, for example. If you just go ahead and click OK without searching for it first, you might inadvertently apply the payment to the wrong bill. So it's always best to come in here and search and then go, yes, that's the one I want to apply it to. You tick it, you match it, you're happy that it matches. The money's coming out of the bank here. We can see that it's for trucks and see it's for rent. The final step is to click OK. Now that's reconciled everything. So you've gone, you put the expense in zero as a bill, you've attached a copy of the invoice in the bill, you come into the bank feed, you now reconcile the money coming out of the bank to match it, and that's the whole job done. So there you go, guys. That's how you reconcile a purchase from start to finish in zero. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed this playlist. If your business is growing and you're finding it's too difficult to do your own bookkeeping, it's time to call an accountant. We'll leave our website in the link in the description below and we'll have a chat and see if we help you out.